Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel. Well, today we're going to uh, model a, um, a chain, a bike chain. It can be a bicycle chain, it can be a motorcycle chain, it doesn't matter, right? Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we're going to go in here, we're going to go to Create, Polygon Primitives, and let's take a polygon pipe, like so. And then what we're going to do is jump in here. And I don't want that height just yet. So let's go in here and right click, go to face, delete all of those. So that's all we have left, right? Okay, so we're gonna go there. We're gonna go to edit, delete by type and history. And we're gonna go to modify uh, freeze transformation. And we're gonna go to modify and center pivot. All right, then we're gonna go in here. We're gonna hit control D to duplicate. W to move over and you don't want it to be too short so we're going to give it a little bit of length in between like so that's about right click both of them let's go to uh, mesh and uh, combine and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here right click go to vertex and we're going to grab these two go to uh, mesh tool target weld option box center right and then we're going to grab these two and these two these two and these two and these two let's see do we need to do one more maybe yeah it looks like all right okay we're going to hit q on the keyboard we're going to go in here we're going to three to preview smooth that's pretty good Right click, go to vertex, drag, select these, hit R, kind of dip that in a little bit. That makes it look a lot better. Alrighty. So now that we have this, we're gonna hit one to go back. We're gonna go in to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it instead of a preview smooth, right? And then we're gonna go in here. We're gonna select this guy and we're gonna go and hit extrude. And let's give this some thickness. Let's do 0 0.5. That's way too much. 0 0.15. That's a lot better. 0 0.15. Okay. Now we want this to uh, be smoothed out. So if I hit three, I'll get something like this. So what I need to do is hit insert edge loop again. Go to two. Then go in here and add them like this. Hit R. Scale them a bit apart, Q on the keyboard, and now if we hit three to preview smooth, we'll get something looking like this. Now we need to do those inner circles as well, so let's do that injured edge loop thing again. It's still set to two. Let's uh, pull that to the edge, we'll do that once again. Hit R, pull that to the edge. And now if we hit three, we'll get something looking like this. All right, good, good. Now we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna E to rotate, hold on J, flip it on its side like so. And then what I'm gonna do is hit W. We're gonna move it over here. I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate it. Move it to, let's say about there, I would say. That's about right. I'm gonna group these, control G. I'm gonna to go to modify and center pivot. And then I'm gonna uh, hit W to move it and hold down X. So it will snap to the middle. And then I'm gonna snap it to the middle of here as well. So boom, there you go. All right, so now that I have this, I need one more set for this. So I'm gonna hit control D to duplicate all of it. Go over here. And of course, we're going to need a section that's going to be in here, right? All right, so for that, we need one of these. So I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate again. I'm going to hit W. I'm going to move it. And we need to align these holes, right? Okay, so let's go in here. After frame, four for wireframe mode. That looks fine. These two need to come in.
that looks fine as well and what I now need to do is take uh, this guy and we're going to move that out to about here that looks about right we're going to control D to duplicate we're going to move a set over here after frame all right that's good and we need cylinders in this section right here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to push this guy out a little bit we're going to take um, a polygon pipe uh, let's see are we going to do that no we're going to yeah we're going to take a polygon pipe right so we're going to go to create we're going to go to polygons we're going to go to pipe e to rotate hold on j flip it on its side we're going to move it a little bit over here and over there let's get that all lined up we're going to take all of this and this and hit control h to hide it so we can see what we're doing take this guy we're going to move this up right here bring it in like so Alrighty, and we're going to go in here and we're going to go and take these faces. Yeah. Let's uh, push that down and then pull it out. Let's see if that is working. The idea is that it can pass through the hole that we have. So let's have a look. Let's scale it down a bit. That looks a lot better. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to insert edge loop, set it to manual, put one in here, one in there. Okay. We're going to select it. We're going to go to Mesh and Smooth. Alrighty. Then we're going to take this guy. We're going to hit W. Let's move that right in there. Okay. We're going to go back up to uh, Display and Show All. So we got all of that back. I need to have two of these sections. So control D to duplicate. W. Let's make sure it's sitting where it should. There we have that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab all of this. We're going to control a G to group it. Go to modify and center pivot. And then we're going to move this in. The frame that looks about right and we need to make these sections longer so we're going to go to vertex let's actually make this one object one two three mesh combine that's a glitch like click go to vertex drag select we're going to move that out after frame. That's pretty much where it should be. Okay. And what we need to do is we need to um, copy that, right? So we need a bunch of these. And what I'll do now is I'll go to mesh and uh, combine. And then we need uh, this uh, as well. And let's see if I can, okay, so this is one section. Yeah, let me think a second here, yeah, okay. So we're gonna go to Mesh and Combine. All right, so I can now hit Control or D to duplicate. I can hit W to move it. And that's where we want to have it, right? Uh, let's get it aligned properly. That looks uh, pretty good actually, all right? And then we're gonna hit Shift D a couple of times. 
like so. And of course, we need to do the same with these intersections. So we're going to go to mesh and combine, modify, center pivot, hit control D to duplicate, move this over. Get this aligned like so. All right now, we can't do Shift D because it would jump too much. So, Control D. And once this one is in place, we actually can hit F. All right, and now we can hit Shift D. It should jump, but it didn't. And shift D. Okay. So we'll set one of these at the end here. After frame. And there you go. And now, once you have that in place, you have the detailed uh, chain. And of course, if you move the pivots, you can uh, manipulate this into any position you want, right? So if I hit the insert key and I move the pivot, let's say here, hit the insert key again, you can rotate the section of the chain to any position you want and then you can wrap it around and uh, yeah, apply that chain on your bike or motorcycle or whatever you're making, right? So yeah, that's how you do that. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button because uh, about 90% of the viewers or even 95% of the viewers uh, are not subscribed and you would really help me out, right? I mean, I know my uh, videos are, um, yeah. So yeah, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.